Hey, I love. His mother told him it was always okay to masturbate as long as you didn't bother her. He's very funny. I consider him one of the best comedians in the world. Robert Schimmel, Robert Schimmel. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have another hand for Dom Herrera. The hostess with the mostest. I was watching TV today. I saw Riddick Bowie, he's the heavyweight champion of the world. They asked him if Tyson got out, would he fight him for $30 million? He said, I have to think about it. You know, for 30 million bucks, I'd suck Tyson's dick in front of my parents. I would, right at the Thanksgiving dinner table. I don't give a shit. One million, two million, three million. Hey, Ma, you want a little of this? Want a little pocket money? I mean, I'm not gay or anything, but for 30 million bucks, how bad could a dick taste? You could spend a million on mouthwash and have a real nice life. I can only do that joke because I know he's behind bars. Because if you ever heard me do that, I might have to suck it for free. I'd be lucky if I get cab fare. And I can't take him to court like the girl did. It doesn't look the same when you're a grown man going, and then he made me suck his dick. You know, I did that joke the other night. This girl came over to me and she said, you know, every guy has at least one sexual experience with another guy. I mean, when you're a kid at camp, you jack somebody off, you blow them, right? What camp is this? What is this, Camp Sukkawami? What is it, blow? Okay, kids, you want to go rafting or blow Vinny today? Which one do I do here? <sighs> Just got my hair cut. I think they thinned it out a little too much on top for me. So. Got to cut at a hair cutting school. It's kind of weird when the instructor walks behind you and he goes, no, no, no. <laughs> Watching TV, I saw that commercial. You ever see the one with the mother and daughter walking along the beach? Ma, why do they have douche? I don't know. Why don't you ask the pelicans that are following you? <laughs> do women have these conversations with their mothers on the beach? Because guys can't talk like that to their dad. <laughs> Dad, I took a shower and everything, and my dick still smells funny. Well, who told you to smell it? <laughs> Saw an ad for Anusol. Have you seen that thing? Have you ever had one of those scratchy, burny itches you can only tell your doctor about? <laughs> who else can you tell? <laughs> Citibank? Yeah, my asshole burns. You know, it itches, and I scratch it, and it burns. It's an itchy, scratchy, burny asshole. No, I don't think that's a Billy Ray Cyrus song. I... <laughs> Who do you tell? I think of the drugstore. Yeah, my asshole burns. Yeah, I think you want to talk to somebody that works here. <laughs> my ass burned once. I remember I was in, I think, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I ate some Cajun food and jalapeno peppers and... No, it was great that night, but the next morning, I thought I was shitting battery acid. I mean, it burned so bad, I actually contemplated sticking a popsicle up my ass. But it was the wrong shape. If it would have been one of those square ones, it would have been right up there. But I ain't sticking no dick-looking popsicle up my ass. I just... Especially if your mom and dad walk in. That's pretty fucked up. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're the boss. Uh, Ma! It's not what you think. A jalapeno was burning my ass. Uh, yeah, it's one of your Weight Watchers fudgicles. Why? I... <sighs> they had a plane crash on the news, you know? I don't understand things when they say that, you know, people's bodies have to be identified by the dental records. If they don't know who you are, how the fuck do they know who your dentist is? <laughs> okay. 
Okay, the crash. There's a guy on the field standing out there. Yeah, the plane came down over here, smashed into this car, decapitated the driver. He's apparently dead. No, the head's still alive. <laughs> over here, behind the bush. What would you say if you saw something like that? Hey, you okay? I can't feel my legs. Don't look down. It's the Bob Schimmel C in Hell Tour. I was reading the paper. Did you hear the story about that guy that got his dick cut off? Is this thing on? I, uh... I cut this out. This is from the Washington Post. It's not even the National Enquirer. Man's penis reattached after wife cuts it off. That really doesn't warrant the applause, lady. I, uh... A 26-year-old man whose wife cut off his penis with a kitchen knife while he slept. You know, you have to be a pretty sound sleeper. To, uh, was reported in satisfactory condition after the penis was attached after a nine and a half hour operation. Authorities learned of the incident when the man showed up in the hospital about 5 a.m. That must have been great, huh? Can I help you? My dick's gone! I had it when I went to sleep, I woke up and it's fucking missing. Police officers were dispatched to the nearby apartment to search for the missing penis, but couldn't find it. You know, I would have paid anything to have been in that cop car when that call came over the radio. One out of 12, find the dick. <laughs> About the same time, the man's wife called authorities from a payphone to say that she had been attacked by her husband, had fled the apartment in a panic, unknowingly taking the penis with her. <laughs> you know, that's not saying much for his dick if she had it and she didn't know she had it on her. I mean, it's not like finding an M&M in your jacket pocket. I mean, it's his dick. She then threw the penis out the car window onto the highway. The penis was recovered at an intersection packed in ice. What, did it land in a big gulp? Did somebody find it in the street? Hey, look, there's a dick over there. Hey, that should be in ice. It's gonna spoil laying in the sun like that. The penis was then rushed by fire and rescue personnel. To, what, do they have the dick on a stretcher? You're gonna be okay, don't worry. He's not moving, maybe a little mouth to mouth, huh? Prosecutor Paul B. Ebert said that the couple who had been not identified, yeah, I think he'd be pretty easy to recognize, <laughs> threw the dick out the window. I guess that means if you swerved to miss it and some cop pulled you over, you could tell him that some prick cut you off the road. <laughs> Boy, if that would have been me and they would have said, okay, we found your penis, hey, that's not mine. Mine's bigger than that. You can't get your penis enlarged. It's called uh, elephantitis, I think. No, it's, uh, you can get uh, fat from your groin and your stomach injected into your penis and it makes it bigger. It's like $3,000. Gee, Bob, you know all the details. And uh, I'm sure it looks real nice until you get older and you wind up with love handles on your dick. And you have to come up with a whole bunch of new exercises. One, two, three, four. No, honey, I'm not masturbating. It's a new Richard Simmons tape. Jack into the oldies. Let's twist again. You guys have been a great crowd. Thank you very much. Good night. See you later. Yeah, thank you very much.